Hi everybody, it's Ali again today. I'm bringing you guys another unboxing. This time it's the Blue Baby Bottle SL microphone along with a boom arm called the Compass. And I'm really excited about that one because my boom arm is like three years old and it's time for it to go. Today I'm going to be unboxing it. We're gonna be doing a setup and also doing an audio test to see how this really sounds. So how about we get to the unboxing right now? Okay, so here it is, the Blue Baby Bottle SL microphone. And before we jump into the unboxing, I wanted to send a quick thank you for to Logitech and Blue for hooking me up with some new upgrades. Oh, and if you like the video and find it helpful, make sure to click the like button and subscribe so that you can help me grow on YouTube as well. And it also lets me know that you like these kinds of videos so I can bring more in the future. So how about we move on to the video? The Blue Baby Bottle SL Large Diaphragm Studio Condenser Microphone Classic Warmth and Presence. Oh, it comes with a, it comes with a box. Oh, this is super cool. Not that I'm gonna be storing it because I'm gonna be using it literally every day, but this is really, this is a really nice box. It smells like wood. I love it. Wait, it's in here. Of course it's in here. Oh my God, look how nice it looks. Wow, this is really pretty and I haven't even taken it out of the box yet and I'm already really impressed. And I think this should be a shock mount. Yep, shock mount. We got a shock mount, everybody. Wow, this is really, really beautiful. Just, just looking at it, I can feel, I can sense the quality um, in the product. Look at that. Okay, let's take the shock mount out first. our shock mount there's a sense of weight and quality to it really nice and over here we have the blue logo you can see it right here to turn the knob and you know adjust it to the boom arm which I have to unbox as well oh wow this is a beautiful mic this is a beautiful microphone oh my gosh Okay, so here we have the close-up of the beautiful uh, Blue Baby Bottle SL microphone. Um, you have a bronze color in the uh, grill of the microphone, and then on the body you have a dark gray, almost kind of blue, a little bit of blue tint to it, and then you have the high-pass filter and the minus 20 decibel pad to offer uh, versatility depending on what kind of environment you're in. Um, you can turn those on or off and offer a little bit more options um, and higher quality and clear sound. All right, so here is the Compass Boom Arm. I am so looking forward to this too because like I said, my needs are not great. So let's, let's get this one out of the box so we can get this set up and we can get to the audio set up too. Oh, this is so much better than mine. <laughs> this is so, this is so much better than the one I have. Wow, okay, this is really nice. In terms of quality, this feels really, really nice and sturdy. I have to set it up right now, so I'm gonna take a moment to set up the, the boom arm mic. I'm gonna put the microphone on this, and then we're gonna be doing our audio test after that. 
So here is my current setup, an Auto Technica 2020 um, with an XLR cable rolled around my old, <laughs> my old trusty boom mic uh, connected to a Focusrite Scarlett interface. This is what I've been using for about two years. Here it is all set up, my blue baby bottle microphone paired with the blue compass boom arm. I will say though it took me a little bit of setup time to get the boom arm just right so that it didn't block my screen and it's still in front of my face to capture audio correctly. So I'll test it out this week on stream and see how it works. Um, it does feel like a quality and premium uh, boom arm though. It doesn't make a single sound when you swivel it around and it's really neat. And my favorite feature is that you can hide the cable in the rail here inside of the tube, which is really cool. Something that a cheaper or more affordable boom arm does not have, which leaves you having that cable dangling around while you're playing. And I have switched over to what would be my stream setup. This is where I would be sitting and talking to my viewers on Twitch. And this is about the distance of where I would be from the microphone at the entire the entirety of my stream while I'm playing. So if I'm sitting over here and I am playing, let's do a quick keyboard test. And I'm typing while I am playing on my keyboard and then I'm gonna come back over here and this is me talking to chat this is me talking to viewers talking really close to the microphone talking really close to the microphone I would use it for some really spooky I don't know probably more for voice acting or if I'm doing anything like a podcast or maybe ASMR and now we're back to the Audio Technica AT2020, which is what I was using before, just so that you guys can see the difference between the the blue baby bottle and the Audio Technica AT2020, and see what you guys like best. I'm gaming and talking. I'm gaming and talking. I'm gaming and talking to viewers. I'm gaming and talking. And here I'm really close to the microphone. Really close to the microphone. Sitting upright, talking to the microphone. Sitting upright, talking to the microphone. Sitting upright and looking at my game. Sitting upright and looking at my game. And now on the baby blue bottle. It snowed, rained, and hailed the same morning. It snowed, rained, and hailed the same morning. It snowed, rained, and hailed the same morning. So I just finished listening to both audio tests and the more I listen to it, the more I use the microphone, the more I fell in love with the blue baby bottle microphone. And the same thing with the compass. I think I found the perfect placement for it. I don't think I'll be going back to my old one. I feel like my voice just sounds really warm. It sounds very clear and it's just it just fits my voice very, very well. Also, it sounds very high quality and professional. And if I ever get into voice acting, which I would love to, or if I ever do any kind of podcast just with the switch of a button I can have high quality voice um, vo high quality voice recordings to to throw out there in, in the world so I'm really excited to get started using this on stream and doing some other projects let me know what you guys think in the comments if you have any questions about either both the blue yeti or the audio technica let me know I've been using the audio technica for about two years and three years actually three years and this one I'm gonna get started using it right now on stream starting now so I can't wait if you guys want to say hi to my uh, on my stream feel free to stop by i love meeting new people and let me know if you have any questions all right everybody don't forget to like and subscribe and all the things and i'll see you guys on the next video or on twitch bye friends